Hello children, welcome to the science PPT. Look at this object. Can you guess what object it is? Yes, you are right. Even though it looks like a ball, it's actually the photograph of an egg. If you look at the shadow, it is more clear to you. In a notebook, write today's date, topic light and shadows, LFQ, how do I explore shadows and their features? How are shadows formed? Look at this picture. It might help you to recall how shadows are formed. Yes. Shadows are formed when an object blocks light. Look at the picture given here and what features of shadows you can notice from the picture. Yes, shadows have no details which means the boy standing over there has eyes, nose, mouth, tongue but if you look at the shadow, you cannot see any of those features in the shadow. It is just a dark shadow. Now, shadows are always dark, which means whatever colorful dress the boy is wearing, you cannot see that in the shadow. It's always dark. Also, the size of the shadow will change. We have already learned it and different objects have shadows according to their shape which means all the shadows are not of the same shape. It depends upon the object forming the shadows. Changing shadows. Here we will check how we can change the size of the shadow. What do you think will happen if you move the ball towards the torchlight? The shadow will become more big. And if the ball is moved away from the torchlight, the shadow will become small. So now look at this picture. When the object is close to the torch light, the shadow is large. When the object is away from the torch light, the shadow is small. This is because the object blocks more light. The object blocks more of the light. And here the object blocks less light when it is away from the light source. Describe what is happening in the diagram. You are right. The shadows change. The position of the shadow change during the daytime. But how? In the morning and the evening, the shadows are long. In the noon time, the shadow will be short. Now one more thing, when the light source is directly above the object, the shadow will be directly underneath. When the light source is to one side, the shadow will be to the opposite side. Here also, when the light source is to one side, the shadow will be to the opposite side. Here is your AFL questions. You can see three different type of objects. Okay. Compare the shadow created by these three type of objects and give a brief explanation why.
Here is the answer for the AF question. The first object, it's opaque. So it blocks the light and creates dark shadows. The second one is translucent. Only some light is blocked. That is why faint shadows. The third one, it is transparent. So they don't cast shadows at all. You can do self-assessment in your notebook. Briefly explain what have you learned so far. We have learned how shadows are formed. We also learned how to change the size of the shadow. The third thing what we learned is how the shadow change during the daytime. Here is your task. Write the answers in your notebook. Once you finish doing the task, you can attempt the quizzes. Thank you.